Niantic has made an announcement in regards to changes of remote raid passes. Be warned, some people may be triggered and some people may be disappointed. I'm going to just skip the intro right away and I'm just going to show you guys some of the updates they're going to do. Note to self that these updates are going to start on April 6th at 11 a.m. Once again, this update is going to be starting on April 6th at 11 a.m. So, be warned, okay? And... Also, let's just go through the details first and foremost. They're increasing the prices of remote rate passes. Like, I'm not surprised that this is happening. I'm just surprised how much it's being increased. Because I thought it was going to be like maybe an extra like 50 or something. Oh no. If instead of like a 100 Poke coin remote rate pass, it's 195. So it's almost double. And a 3 pack instead of 300, it is now 500. And 25 Poke Coins. So right there, <laughs> you guys are gonna start rolling your eyes. And um, yeah, uh, there's a lot more to share. Note to self that premium rate passes are gonna now come in three bundles for 250 Poke Coins. So you can tell right away they're trying to try to get people to raid in person more than remote raid. You think the prices are bad? Wait till you hear about the participation limits. We usually just raid whenever and how much. It's usually like a limitless thing. Now. There's going to be five remote raids per day. You heard me right. Five remote raids per day. That is the limit. For some of you, that's like, I do that many anyway. But for some of you who are like hardcore raiders, because you're trying to get XP, you're trying to get a shiny legendary, you're trying to get like those bonuses and items from those rewards. Yeah, that is not going to be fun. And then also, note to self that in the future for special events, probably for like GoFest or Tour or Safari Zones or whatever, they may increase the amount of the limitations of remote raid passes. So maybe like 7 per day, 10 per day, 15, who the heck knows? But right now, moving on until, you know, like once it's April 6th, it's going to be 5. There's other ways how you can get a remote raid passes. They're going to add it as a potential reward from research breakthrough encounters, like, you know, claiming rewards. But you have to make sure that in your inventory that you have at least one or two in your inventory. Because if you have three, you're not gonna get one. You're gonna get a premium rate pass instead. And then, if you guys are actually going out there and doing five star raids in person, you get a Candy XL. Or at least better chances of getting a Candy XL comparing to remote rate passes. And then they said, and I quote, this is going to probably uh, get your feelings mixed up or feeling some kind of frustration or sorrow. Since their introduction in 2020, remote raid passes have come to dominate the experience of playing Pokemon Go in a way we never intended. Rewarding trainers with additional Candy XL and adding other new features are two of the ways we hope to further incentivize playing Pokemon Go in person with your friends, family, and community. We plan to keep remote rate passes as part of Pokemon Go. However, we believe this change is necessary for the long-term health of the game, and we do not make it lightly. We feel like this is a necessary step toward our goal of preserving and improving the unique experience of playing Pokemon Go, a game we hope you continue to enjoy long into the future. First and foremost, I had to stop editing some videos that I was planning to post on my YouTube channel because of this announcement, because I've been getting some conflicted feelings and I just wanted to take some time to hear from other people like Mystic7, Pokedaxi, Trainer Tips, other people. This is very frustrating for a few reasons. Number one, the expenses. You're going to not only just limit the amount of times we raid per day from remote raids, but you're also going to like approximately double the price, which is like, dude, what the heck? It was bad enough you did it by like almost 100 or 50 Poke Coins, man. 225 more for three? Come on. Now, I understand that I have not been raiding as much, and that's just because for me personally, I'm just trying to like save Poke Coins for other stuff like storage. I wanted to get Shiny Ponyard, so I've been like using it for incubators and rocket radars. Like, I also hatched a lot of eggs during the Hoenn tour, so like, I felt like hatching eggs was something I wanted to try to keep doing, because I felt like that was something I lagged. And I also was just trying to like save money in general, because I'm 26, I don't see myself living with my parents for like another 10 years, and 
outside of Pokemon Go. I work a full-time job, and I'm trying to get this channel to be monetized so I'll be able to make some extra money so I can be able to, you know, save enough to live on my own. I'm trying to be more financially ready, so it's like, ooh, you know? I have to think of some positive things about this, which is very weird to say in a situation like this. One positive thing I have to say is that this is a, like, it's a, it's a good thing that this is not, like, gone forever, right? This was something that was dropped in 2020, which was during the pandemic, our most favorite time. Oh, gosh, I shouldn't be sarcastic about it, but uh, I understand why. You know, we knew this was a temporary thing, but this is how they made money. This was how they added major fan bases because you have people who are eligible to go out. Well, not go out. They were just able to, like, be able to open up the game and raid for a Lugia or a Mewtwo or anything like a Rayquaza at home. Because, one, some people are disabled and they can't just go to many public places. Number two, you also have people who live in rural areas who do not have big communities or no community whatsoever. They may be the only one playing in their hometown. I feel like Chris and I are like the ones who play in our area and there'll be like some people who'll come around if they're available. Um, like we had some people show up for the Reggie Drago late raids. I'm so glad that we managed to barely get at least 10, 11 people for at least like three raids, you know? But I just feel like that's not gonna be a continuous thing because of some features they've been doing and you know, how the community is and stuff. I played this game since 2016. So I've seen a lot of major changes with this game. And I thought raids were like the most positive feature in this game because it gives trainers chances to like get extra XP, extra bonuses, chance for legendaries, and they're all in person. So like it was great to, you know, be part of the community with like Reno groups and the Carson groups and the Douglas groups. So it's like I felt like I made like a, a community. Like I felt like I was out there more often. Like, yeah, I, I love to be out there in person, but, like, it all changed since the pandemic because you have a mix of people who either can't go out or people who do want to go out. And I've been going out lately. I'm not supporting Antic by saying that, but, like, you have to understand there's a lot of people. It's a we thing. It's not a me thing, you know? We just feel like this is just absurd to limit the amount of times we raid just to get extra XP and extra goods and stuff. It's a way to get engaged in the game, and you're limiting it, which is... Something I prefer over permanently getting rid of it. You know, thank goodness, because if they decide to get rid of it, period, that's how they're going to lose pretty much three-fourths of their um, counts of trainers. But note that Niantic, I, I emphasize, like, I understand why they're doing this. Oh, I just wish they weren't this brutal. I would have made some minor changes. I think they should have increased to, like, 150 and maybe, like, 450 instead of like 525. I don't want to make it sound like I'm rambling. I have some mixed thoughts about it. I'm not frustrated. I'm just very like shocked that it's coming up soon. We knew this feeling was going to happen. I did not want to talk about it too much when we heard the news about it because I thought, oh, it's just a rumor. Uh, maybe it was just a mistake. But no, it's going to happen. It's going to change the way how we raid now. Um, you're going to have two types of people. You're going to have people who are going to go out more often or you're just going to have people that are not going to rope ro made anymore. Like, they're not going to do any raids, period. Because that was how people were introduced in the game, were remote raid passes. So the fact they're limiting it, um, you know, I shouldn't be that upset because I've been playing this game since day one. I knew how there's so many changes and stuff. And I had to understand why they're doing this. I know that we can express our opinions and our feelings about the changes that we make. And we are not going to like all of it. And there are some times that we really expressed it. And um, Niantic wants to try to make the community as happy as possible. But this time, it's not going to happen because they have an objective. They're going to stick to it. And we can only do as much as we can. Like I said, I'm going to still play because I still want that shiny top of Bulu. Um, it's just going to feel different because I am going to do five remote raids per day. And hopefully, if we do get spring, we'll be out. But that's just me. I'm not just saying that to encourage people to change their opinions about this stuff. You do have the right to feel upset about this. You have the right to feel disappointed about this. Um, I will say this, no one's excited. I cannot name a single individual who could possibly be excited about the limitation of remote rate passes because there's nobody. Like they even knew that like no one's gonna be happy. This is Niantic being like straight up big boys and being like, yeah, 
we're not taking this lightly. Get used to it, you know? Like, they don't want us to, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to end this video before I continue to ramble, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. How are you feeling about the remote raid passes? I'm not too furiated. I'm just so shocked and just bummed um, because these remote raids were how I made a lot of friends because, you know, I was able to raid in Australia from home or South Korea or London. You know what I mean? So anyway, that's all the time that we have. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.